hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple right. strip. What's good, Ravens fam? So, Zay Flowers. You know what? That if you haven't seen the video of him going in the back after he was drafted, talking to his family, here it is. Facing this way. Yes. Yo. Oh. Yeah. What's up? Hey. What's up, baby? <laughs> what they talk about? Baby, look. Let's go. Oh man, I miss y'all. Hey, you forgot the flower though. Man, I was too happy. I, I was too happy. Man, <laughs> give them to my sisters. <laughs> Roll, roll. I'm on the way. I'm on the way back. Let's go shop the world. Let's go do it. I told you I was gonna end up with Lamar. <laughs> Damn, bro. I'm, How you feeling? How you feeling? How I look like I'm feeling. <laughs> feeling like a million bucks. <laughs> First game, we need four. All right, we got to slow down a little bit there, bud. We're going to make it happen, though. Enjoy yourself. Got you. Oh, that was lit right there. That what was fire. I love that. I talked to two of my brothers. I ain't seen him. When the last time I seen him before I went on stage? We're ready to go do some celebrating with him. I love that video. I love the video. You can see the passion. He's excited. His family excited, obviously. But I called when he said, I told y'all. I was going to be with Lamar Jackson. He must have felt that when they interviewed him, they was on key. Usually, you know, a lot of players say that. And you be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all all say the same thing. But when he said, I told y'all I was going to be with Lamar Jackson, I was like, he already told that to his brothers and sisters before the draft. So many he was, he wanted to be a Raven, to be with Lamar Jackson, the celebrity he said that is out there in Florida where they stay. Man, that is awesome. We see Steve Smith's senior raving about him. I saw some people in the comments was like, yeah, 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 he ain't gonna be doing nothing, he this and that. And Steve Smith was the only one that's that said Cooper Cup is going to be that guy. And he turned out to be that guy. So, you know, people is going to be looking to see, man, he was wrong about this one, though. He was wrong about this one. They're going to take all their energy. Just try to prove someone wrong about the player they like and they want it that their team got by maybe their team, which was probably not the Ravens they wanted them to get him, but it didn't happen. We know possibly the Kansas City wanted him. Heck, they, they flew him out to Texas just to catch with Patrick Mahomes. One of the things that we saw was Zay Flowers working out with Patrick Mahomes. You know a thing or two about catching passes from Mahomes. What's your reaction to seeing Flowers out there doing that and just knowing that your team might be looking to add a little bit more weaponry even? Yeah, no, I could tell you just by watching him, he could help us out right now. Ooh. <laughs> he is a... He is an unbelievable wow. route runner, and you can really see his athleticism and his love for the game and just how he runs routes. He was uh, – he wasn't it, – it's not like this was, that was a tryout or anything like that. He was just down there getting work in like, uh, like the rest of us. And um, you can see how he was finishing some of the plays, how he was just uh, enjoying playing catch with uh, Pat Mahomes or a few NFL quarterbacks, man. And it was, um, it was fun to see, man. He's a great guy too. Just what you guys need, more playmakers on offense. <laughs> I think they were thinking probably, hey, this could be another Tyreek Hill. Cause when he, in my opinion, when he catch that ball, he runs like Tyreek Hill. It's hard to get him. But I do like that video that Steve Smith Senior put out that he love him. He don't like him. He love him. I like that. Then, in the presser, EDC said. At the combine, he, him and Steve was next to each other. 
and he was asking Steve what he thinks about him. A future Hall of Fame Steve Smith, he was asking what he thinks about him. And he told him. And it's two people Steve liked. He liked, he, or well, he loved. He loved Zay, and he loved Mingo. Mingo went to the Panthers with their new young quarterback. So they're going to be set. So they already replaced DJ Moore. I liked it that they did that. That was, that was probably mad respect for the Panthers for doing that because that was smart. They got their young wide receiver. I mean, they got their young quarterback, and then they already gave, got him a good wide receiver. You can't eat. Uh, that, that's awesome. But the thing that I, I love about Zay Flowers, you look at his highlights, and you like, that's nice, that's cool, that's everything. He dropped some passes before, but everybody dropped passes. Freaking Jerry Rice, greatest of all time, dropped passes. Michael Irvin dropped passes. Randy freaking Moss, who I love, dropped passes. So as long as he's going to drop a lot of passes, I'm cool with that. He's going to have, I believe he might have a jitterbug, but he has a true, huge chip on his shoulder. And I love that about the man. Can't wait to see him, Bateman, OBJ doing their thing. Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice to see all of that out there. Now, to me, they cannot mess that up. I, I hope Todd Monk and do not sit there and have Pat Record trying to do routes like our old GM used to do. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But I love this pick. Like, I'm going to try to get me a Zay Flowers jersey if I possibly can. I'm going to have to hit up my china shop. I ain't, I ain't buying no room. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm serious. But... I love I love that I love that pick. Like you think and you look at what he did out there in Boston College, right? And I brought it up to some people. I say, you see what he did in Boston College? Who was his quarterback? Who was his quarterback? I believe that quarterback was trash. I believe quarterback was trash, but Zay Flowers got over a thousand and some yards with that quarterback. Now you take and you remove that quarterback and you put in there a Lamar Jackson with a Odell Beckham, a Mark Andrews, a Rashad Bateman, and see what damage he do. Crisp route running. So quick and smooth. It's going to be beautiful to see that. I can't wait. September needs to hurry up. I can't wait. Oh, it's going to be special. You know what would be a trip? If it does happen, I would be happy. If it don't, it's it, cool. As long as we get that Super Bowl ring. But... What if he balls out so much? He possibly could be offensive rookie of the year. I can't remember last time the Ravens had that. Was it Jamal Lewis? I think that was it. But it was that far way back. <laughs> if that is it, I believe. But you just think about that. So I can't wait, man. I just can't wait. I wonder what number he's going to get. He wants to get four. But we shall see if he does get four. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be an interesting thing in itself if he does get four. 
But they should get him, man. With that story where he said he the fourth out of 13 or 14 kids. Come on, bro. This dog, this, 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 this man gonna dog out. Learning from Odell. Learning from Marlon Humphrey. Hopefully my guy, Marcus Peters. Cornerbacks that been in the game that can teach him some things that he doesn't already know. But you know, it's going to be interesting to see him and Porter Jr. going at it. If Porter Jr. is on him. But hopefully, yeah. Hopefully he has a tremendous, tremendous year with us and it just gets better. Tell me, so what y'all think about the pick? Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And you already know. God bless.